Welcome to the Monday Night War. What's up, guys? The phenomenal AJ Styles, and you're watching Bretto Live. What is going on, guys? Bretto Live back with another video, and today we have the WWE Ultimate Edition Mattel Creations exclusive WCW Monday Nitro Ring with Eric Bischoff Ultimate Edition exclusive figure. You can only get this at MattelCreations.com, and I also believe you could pre order it at Ringside Collectibles if you'd like. I got mine from Mattel Creations. There's a look in the back. You got the WWE logo, little UPC right there, and it does come shipped in this box, and then it's in another box so you won't actually get it on your front porch in this box you'll get it in a bigger box which I think is pretty cool because I do want to save this box I think it's really clean uh, it is taped up on the side we're gonna be getting it open and reviewing it and unboxing it in this video let's do this I love doing playset reviews I find them so fun uh, especially when there's building involved I love building the thing that I'm about to have in my collection like a ring or like an entrance stage there's the first thing you see when you open up the side of the packaging get some nice gorilla plating some cool red ultimate edition logo obviously I love the packaging on the cane ring, the Raw's war ring, and here it is. Raw is truly war now. Oh, with this Monday Nitro ring, dude. Holy cow. Look at the packaging on this friggin' thing. Holy cow. My hand's pretty big. There it is, right next to the box. Wow, you can see them displaying the Eric Bischoff figure on the front. Looking fantastic. That is an Ultimate Edition. So he's coming with multiple interchangeable arms, heads, hands. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, there he is on the front with the WCW microphone, the ring being displayed in the background, the WWE logo gorilla plating around, the flames on the bottom, the Mattel logo. It says WCW Nitro Ring. What does it say over here? Includes Ultimate Edition Eric Bischoff. Of course, you see the WCW Monday Nitro logo it says Bischoff right there. Of course, got the Ultimate Edition logo. What's on the other side? Oh no! For little arts, you got Eric Bischoff over here screaming into the microphone. Ultimate Edition logo, WCW Monday Nitro little logo. There's a product shot of the ring, looking sick. Love it. I would assume it's going to be very similar to the Raw ring that we got from MattelCreations.com not too long ago. But of course, just with the WCW features to it, you got the WCW logo once again. You have some stats here on Eric Bischoff, who comes in a separate packaging in this packaging, which I'm excited to take a look at. Here's some facts about the ring in the bottom right here. It tells you about the aprons, about the ring mat, about the figure itself, and then about uh, just how the ring works. And I'm really excited to get this out of the box. Uh, here's a look at the bottom. Not much going on down there. Uh, but we are going to get this out of the box right now. I'm really excited to do so. So let's freaking do just that and see what we got in the package. Look at Bischoff right there looking like an absolute unit, bro. Bro looks immaculate. Here's a look at the back of the package. I forgot to mention how they want you to open it. There's some nice little like indent in the entire back of the packaging. That's how Mattel wants you to open it. I did open it from the side only because I want to save this packaging because I think the art is absolutely immaculate so I don't want to destroy the box so we just opened it from the side after you get everything out of the packaging you're left with something like this we have everything like how it came out of the packaging look at all these ring supports right here of course this makes the ring the squared circle we got a bunch of uh we got the four steel posts. We have a bunch of supports that go under the ring. We have the awesome WCW ring mat. Look at that. There's printing on the mat. I love that. We have nitro ring mats with a new material for the freaking ring mat. Better than the raw ring. We'll get into it. We got the three wooden plates that aren't actually wood. We have the uh, turnbuckles in there. We have this ring stairs, the instruction manual that I do not need. And then we also have the Eric Bischoff like I said, comes in his own packaging. How cool is that? Some nice firm packaging too right here. Not like the cane when it, that came with the raw ring. That packaging was like super flimsy and weak. This is some nice cardboard packaging right here. Some nice sturdy cardboard. I love that. We'll get into that review a little later. But now, let's focus on the ring. Let's put it together and let's show you how to do it, baby. Let's go. Step one, we got the ring supports. This is what the instruction manual wants you to do first. These ring supports, there's four different ones of these. They're pretty cool. And they actually have some nice detail on the side of that. Look at that. You can see some of the, the riveting, some of the metal brackets. It looks really cool. Uh, we're going to be putting all these together and making the
in a squared circle. There are four different versions of these, so read your instruction manual carefully. You got A1, A2, B1, and B2. So once again, read your instruction manual carefully, put them together, make the squared circle. We got our ring base 100% complete. All the parts are snapped in correctly and good. If you see these little holes around the panels here, that is where the wood goes. That leads me to our next step. We got the wood, wood panels right here. Obviously they are plastic, they're not actual wood, but there's some really nice wood grain on them. This is actually what's under the ring mat in real life, which I think is freaking awesome. You got some nice wood grain going throughout these and it's super easy to snap these in. You basically just put them on top of the, on top of the ring right there. And basically you just push them down just like this till you hear a couple snaps. Step two complete. We got the ring with the wooden panels up top. There's a look at the bottom. We still got to put the supports in. That is a later step that we will get to soon. Step three, we need the Monday Nitro ring mat. I cannot wait to see the logo and how they printed it on the ring mat. I'm very excited. That comes in this really nice paper bag. That is freaking sick. I don't have it on the ring yet. I just got it out of the bag and wow, it is cool. Really nice logo right there. It's not like a rubber logo, like a rubber paint logo. It's like engraved in the cloth, which is freaking sick. Start by turning your ring mat upside down so then the logo's a little more shaded. Get your ring itself, pull it down, and place it on this top of this freaking ring mat. And once you do that, if you look in the ring panels here on the side, you can see these nice little hooks under the plastic. What you do, you wrap the ring mat around the plastic here, and then you send it up just like that so then it hooks in. And you do that all the way around the entire ring. And when you put them all around, you can remove some and reveal the wood, which I think is an awesome feature by Mattel. Boom! There is the ring mat! Looking so sick, dude. Do you guys remember the Wicked Cool Toys Authentic Scale Ring when they had the WCW uh, custom apron and ring mat available on Ringside Collectibles? This was literally it, and I never was able to get it, but now we have the Mattel one. It looks freaking epic, dude. Step four, we flip over the ring and we load it with these supports. The smaller ones, super easy to install. These go in all four corners of the ring. Give them a little push down, make sure they're in. Go in all four centers as well. And then the thicker ones, the longer ones right here, we send in the little holes below the wood. So we go right there and then boom, it's in. And it's actually in pretty well too, which is freaking awesome. The work is done and it always will be. It looks too sweet. We got all the supports on, look at this. So now we could flip the ring over and now we got some height. We got some height on our ring. It's a good like three inches off the floor. It looks freaking sick. I love logos onto the center of the ring. That's why I cannot wait for them to do the prime logo on the center of the ring in real WWE. I cannot wait for them to do that. Like literally, I love logos on the ring, Matt. It just reminds me of UFC. It looks Next step, it's an easy one. Steel post time. No tag rope, which I find kind of odd. Normally when we see this, we see some cool tag rope on the top. I think that'd have been pretty cool to see. But uh, yeah, we got all four steel posts. This is super duper easy. So pull it back a little bit before you put this in. And then you're gonna go right above and give it a little stomp. And there you go. We have it back and then pull the cloth back, obviously. Steel posts are on into the next step. We got the Monday Nitro apron, which like I said in the beginning of the video, this is such a softer material. Like it's the same material, but it feels more soft than the raw ring that we got from Mattel Creations a while back. But this one just, it feels so soft. It's not so like stiff. You're basically just gonna wanna slide this little elastic band right here over the steel post. Do this slowly and you don't wanna break the elastic off of there, but once you send it all the way down, it's gonna sit right at the top of the steel post there. And then of course we have to do the other side over here, which we're gonna do right now. Just like that, the nitro aprons are on all around the ring. One of the last steps, we have the turnbuckles and the ring ropes. They fully come together, which is amazing. So the ropes are already pre-attached to the turnbuckles. We're gonna untie this. Make sure to separate your ropes before you jump into putting them on. You don't wanna get them tangled up. Trust me, I've done it in the past. I have one set up in the ring. I was able to separate the turnbuckles and set them the lengths apart that they need to be that they're gonna be going here on the steel posts. So what, super basic, super freaking basic. You're gonna go right here to the, the steel post and basically you're just gonna snap that in just like that. And once they're all together, then this will pull so it won't be hanging down like that. Just like that, we got the ropes and the turnbuckles on the steel post. Looks so clean, man. There was like some white like tag that was on one of the turnbuckles. I just cut it off. I thought it was really annoying being there, so I cut it off. I love the black ropes. They look 
awesome with the red turnbuckles. And the last step, believe it or not, it is part of the steps. Steel stairs. It says place them in any corner. We'll place them right there. Our WCW Monday Nitro Mattel Creations Ultimate Edition ring. It looks freaking fantastic. Oh my God, especially on camera, it looks awesome. Awesome, man. See how there's no logo on the turnbuckle pads. They're just 100% red. You got the black ropes, which are super flexible, which is awesome. But they're tight, but they're flexible, which is awesome. Black steel post. No tag rope. I would have loved to have seen a tag rope here on the corners. I think that would have been really cool. Uh, we do have the steel posts, which are 100% black. They break into two different pieces, which is awesome. If you look under the ring, yes, you can store steel chairs, tables, ladders under there. I love this ring apron material. It's so much softer than the new gen and the raw is war ring just so much softer and then oh speaking of soft this freaking ring mat is awesome man wcw monday nitro ring mat it's not scuffing it's not smearing it's 100 percent in the cloth like this logo's in the cloth it feels amazing well, same apron on every side just nitro 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 the macho man entering the ring what is on his mind what is his plan oh no he's going in the corner whoa he's tearing up the ring mat he is tearing the ring mat up. The wooden boards have been exposed. Dude, I love this feature. Look at the wooden boards. They look awesome. Obviously, if you want, you could uh, pull more of these rivets out and then reveal more of the ring. Reveal as much of the wood planks as you want. I like this little corner here. I think it looks realistic. I think it looks really cool. Uh, and there's the Macho Man chilling on the wood. And there's the ring. How cool is that, dude? It's a really cool ring. And of course, you could have the Macho Man run the ropes just like this. Boom, do a little flips, go to the top, do a little elbow drop in the center of the ring. Bro, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Now that we got the ring finished, it's time to take a closer look at our Eric Bischoff Ultimate Edition action figure exclusive to this ring. You could only get this figure by ordering this ring unless you wanna pay some eBay scalper price for this figure on eBay, which I don't recommend doing. I just get the ring. Uh, here is a look at the figure on the back, a little product shot of him. It says Eric Bischoff there, Ultimate Edition logo there. You can see some of his stats, and then there you can see a picture of Bischoff right there. And his eyes look so fake in this photo. Is that just me? Or his eyes look like oddly fake. And then there's a look at a little read up on the back. And there's one little piece of tape on the top that we're going to crack open. You take the Bischoff out of the box. Here he is in the plastic. You can see all of his accessories, just like an Ultimate Edition normally. I was just curious to see how they pack it in there. Look at this. We got the other Eric Bischoff WWE figure. This is the Ruthless Aggression Walmart exclusive figure. I thought I'd put it right here while we go over our accessories for the Ultimate Edition Bischoff. Here is the torso and legs. And I absolutely de-accessorized the snot out of this figure because I really want to show you guys exactly what's going on with all the accessories. First of all, he's coming with a ton of accessories. Open interchangeable hands. Pointing interchangeable hands so you can do his signature pose that he does when he smiles, which is awesome. And then you got the microphone holding hands. You have some double jointed arms right here. You have some more double jointed arms, but this time you have the black jacket over them, which is really nice. I love that. And of course, if you put those arms on the figure with this jacket, you have a fully poseable jacket. This is a brand new mold for a leather jacket here. Look at the gold zippers and the gold buttons, dude. Even this little belt buckle that's hanging down you can still see the gold buttons on the freaking belt buckle and there's the belt buckle itself a couple of zippers no logos on the back it looks freaking clean he's coming with two cloth shirts with no velcro on the back how you put them on you remove the interchangeable arms and you slide it right over the torso which i love you're getting a plain white tee we're also seeing an nwo t world new world order t no velcro interchangeable heads we are seeing two interchangeable heads here is the first one bro is rizzing us up with that freaking face look at my boy right there young eric bischoff looking like a stud. He's got the black hair slicked back looking awesome. It does resemble a young Bischoff in my opinion. I think that one looks really good. But this smiling one, dude. I think this one looks really cool. This reminds me of Bischoff a lot. Bro's always smiling, man. A devious smile. And then, of course, he's got the same hair mold as the other interchangeable head skin. I think these look really good. That's just my opinion. Here's a little comparison to the WWE Ruthless Regression one that we saw a while ago. A little bit older of a Bischoff than these head skins right here. So you can definitely tell the difference there. Now, let's accessorize the snot out of this body and let's see what he's all about. I really want to show you guys all the possibilities with this Eric Bischoff figure. So first, I have him with the NWO t-shirt and the skin tone interchangeable arms and the Riz face right there. I think he looks really good like this. Let's show you some other options. Jeans are freaking sick. Check these out. Two-tone jeans, dude, not just one color. You see some white in there? Oh yeah, and these knees? No, they're not stiff like the recent elites we've been getting. Freaking insane. Another option with the Bischoff figure, you got the white tee. 
the plain white T right here with the smiling face, and he's got his signature pose. Let me know what you guys think of the brand new WCW Monday Nitro Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Edition ring. I think it's absolutely awesome. Is it, when it comes to the ring itself, yes, it's very similar to the New Generation Arena ring. It's very similar to the Raw is War ring, just with different logos, all right? But it's basically the same ring, just different logos. But that's what I like about it so much. I love the logo on the ring mat. I love the new ring aprons. I love the new turnbuckles. Like, this ring is so freaking fresh, and this is my new favorite ring. This thing is freaking sick, man. Do I want Mattel Creations to explore a more current age ring? Absolutely. I want them to do an LED light up ring, a current age ring. It would be so freaking sick. And I guarantee that would get crowdfunded. Literally anything current day will get crowdfunded. I guarantee it. Man, I really do wish the WCW Monday Nitro stage got crowdfunded. I'd have it right there. It would be right there there and then this ring would be right here oh my gosh i wish it did but it's okay you never know they could reactivate that project and we could try to uh get that wcw stage crowdfunded again but until then we got this brand new ring you guys could see i got some figures in the ring we got the new ultimate edition hulk hogan that i got from ringside collectibles we got the walmart exclusive versus aggression kevin nash and then we have the walmart exclusive wcw versus wwe uh scott hall which looks amazing and of course we can't forget our brand new ultimate edition eric bischoff which is freaking sick let me know your thoughts on the ring down in the cap section down below and i'll see you guys next time this is brutal live signing out